Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Baldur's Gate. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we fight an ogre mage that we found right as soon as we dropped into the sewers of Baldur's Gate. So last episode we finally got into the big city of this game, the city that gives the name, the game, its name, and um, yeah. So we decided, or I decided, that I should go down here. What I was not expecting is to find this guy right away. This is not really a particularly good position to be in, because uh, we got some dungeon crawlers here, and uh, or carrion crawlers, I'm not really sure what they are, but they are menacing, they're aggressive already, and so is this guy. So, some puny surface dwellers have come to their death. It'll just be extra treasure for my collection. My pets have causing have been causing much anguish in your surface realms, haven't they? They have been so useful at collecting the surface pinklings. My pets use the flesh for food, and I get the petty treasure. My pets kill these intruders. Intruders. Okay, so let's murder these intruders, see if I can bring Emo in around. Let's also send a fireball to these guys' face, hopefully over there. Uh, now, the problem here is that we are all using melee weapons at this point. Uh, let's have everybody attack that, except for Emo, and that's gonna go around a little bit. This is not gonna go well, by the way. Okay, the fireball is gone, and I'm gonna attack. Let's see, so that's one carrion. Let's bring Khalid back here. And that's a hit right there. Badly injured already. Okay, so what we need is for everybody, except for Khalid. Oh, man, these carrion crawlers. Okay, attack that one. I'm gonna see if Dina here. No, Dina here! Please don't get killed! That'll be bad. That'll be really bad. Okay, this is dangerous, but it can be done. Okay, they're doing their thing. The guy's gone. Perfect. Now, um, we need to kill this this one over here. Uh, let's see. Jahiri is gonna continue attacking that one, and you're gonna continue running away. Khalid is actually gonna run away. Get okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, Khalid is now stuck. That's fine. Let's let's give it this a try. I don't know if this thing dispels the stuck. I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, sorry. Zoomed in with a middle click. There we go. That's a kill. And let's see if it dispels or not. Uh, and? And? It did not. It could have been... I think it did dispel effects. Otherwise, it would have failed, I think. But apparently, it doesn't. Okay. That's all good. That's all good. So, the enemy sighted already. Okay. More Karen crawlers. That's not good. Murder. Murder the Karen crawlers. Be careful with them as well. Okay. So, they're gone. Yeah, these guys are easy by this, at this point in the game, but the mage could have been a little bit of an issue. Did we take damage, or was it only Dina here that took? Hmm. Anyway, let's wait uh, for Khalid to come back, and let's see what they have. Ooh, a scimitar. Looks like a plus three one. Uh, session stars ruby ring. That goes over there. Then we got gold ring that goes over... Oh, it's full. Okay, we need to sell that either way. And we got a scimitar plus one. That's all good. And let's put this over here. The one of fear. Does it need to be sold? I think it does. Uh, bullet plus one. You're using... Don't use those, dang it. Okay, put that over there. And use these. Yeah, we need to buy those as well. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the surface. I just want... Hmm. I wanted to come down here. Because I knew, of course I knew there was going to be bad things down here. It's the sewers. Of course it's going to be bad things in here. Uh... But I really didn't expect to find that guy right away. I had, I didn't actually remember he was there even. So let's see. Ooh, what is this? The door to this house is rotting off its hinges. You assume the house has been abandoned for years. Hmm. You assume, huh? Okay. Let's see what we have over here. Uh, yeah. The mines of Nashville were shut off. Uh, so they moved into the west. Oh, those new Iron Throne people scare me, she says. Ever since they moved into the west tower, things have gotten worse for us little folk. I know it's kind of paranoid to blame the throne for all the bandits and the Iron Thing, but none of that happened until they showed up. Yeah, well, yeah? it is paranoid, but you're not wrong. Hello there, you are adventurers, aren't you? You must be really brave. Yes, we are. What about you Hello girls? There. Hello there, aren't you? Yes. Yeah? Adventurers, don't go telling any children your fanciful stories about monsters and swashbuckling. All you do is get the wrong idea in their heads. Yeah, well, it's the, you should teach them not to let the wrong ideas get into their heads. But anyway, that's not my business, so whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's, is there houses around here? I think there is. I think you can get into this house. We've got a commoner here. It's probably just going to say stuff. As all the commoners do, I think I'm, I've had my feel of the... Um, of the Populous over here. I know what they are thinking. I know what they want and I know their needs and desires and all sorts of things that affect their daily life I don't but yeah, 
well, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta a basic understanding of what's, what goes on in their heads. It's all about the Iron Throne and the Amn, Baldur's Gate War sort of thing. We got ooh, a protection scroll over here that uh, needs to be identified. Goes over there, and we're gonna identify it later on. Okay, let's see what we have here. Commoner, some houses. Let's get in here see if any of these is a Hi, inn. Friend. Hello. You there. Uh, what are you doing in this place? You better get out of here unless, of course, you know the password. The, 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 yeah, I know the password. Well, if you know the password, then spill it. The password is... Shadow. Wrong answer. Get out of here before you get hurt. Might not be able to stop a bunch of well-armed adventures, but if you cause any trouble in the guild, not be expecting to walk out in one piece. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't mean to attack you. Fifteen. I think. Hmm. Can we go anywhere? We can't go anywhere. I know what. I know what they meant by the guild, but our characters do not. So I'm not gonna spoil it for you. Apparently, he was protecting something. With his puny 15 experience life. Who's running? Okay, I don't want I don't want none of this. No, I'm Come down here. It's fine. It's fine. Let's go back upstairs. You uh, gather your no, shut up. Forth. Get, get up there. You gather your get up. Are you kidding me right now? You must gather your party Who's? before oh. venturing forth. Can I help you? must gather your party I know. before venturing forth. Thank you. Okay, there we go. So, continue exploration. Up, up here, there's nothing. There's these people that say stuff that I don't care for. Let's go down here. I don't want to attack those guys. That's why I reloaded there. Uh, because, uh, well, it's... Yeah, I didn't I didn't want to attack them. I don't want to get on their bad side for right now. So, let's let's just pretend that never happened. And uh, continue this way. Didn't I get a scroll of thing? Bad? I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Uh, it's got to be somewhere in here, and I'm, well, not in this one, but, ooh, history of the Dragon Coast. Cities are always so intimidating. Can you shut up, Khalid? I'm trying to There's read. so many people. Thank you. The history of the Dragon Coast is the history of money, particularly the darkest side of the coin. The situation on the main trade routes between the Inner Sea and the Sword Coast, these lands never coalesced into a solid, coherent nation like Cormir or Sambia. Instead, a small, petty city-states have risen and fallen, powered by greed and the most powerful merchant or pirate faction of the day. As a result, the Dragon Coast has always been the home of the smuggler, the pirate, the rogue, and the hired killer. It has been pla the place where those seeking the skirt the, uh, to skirt the law of more civilized nations to the north make landfall. It is here that the Red Wizards gain their access to the western heartland and where the cult of the dragon launches its plots to the south. And it is here that independent secret societies and assassin guilds have their greatest power. Okay, I don't want to read about that. That's interesting. But um, that is, I think, the coast to the south of the, of the Amnian coast. I'm not really sure. The Sword Coast is north. In the north of Baldur's Gate, you have Neverwinter Nights. And then further time? north, you have... What did he... No, what is... What, I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm sorry, guys. I'd have to look into the... Uh, into a map of the Forgotten Realms. Yeah, that's the one I was looking for. Put that over there. And these still need to be sold, don't they? Yeah. Let's put them over there. Let's go in here. No, no. Let's not go there. Okay, we have another access to the... Uh, the catacombs... Not catacombs. The sewers. We're gonna go down there for quests and stuff, but not for... Not out of our own... Uh, intent or Hi, interest. Hi. Oh, cheek. not you again? Why would I need a password? What in the nail nine hells are you talking about? You're in the wrong place, pal. I'd get out while still able. Might not be able to stop a bunch of well-armed... Oh, you're gonna attack me again, aren't you? No, he's not. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's not mess around with him. Close the door. <laughs> Just so I know. We got boys over here. Is this all the same? Hey, talk to the loser, guy. Loser, loser, loser. Is that you? Yes. I think I think it was talking about himself. Hi, friend. Oh no! These guys are everywhere. Hmm. So it seems that this building. Let me look at the map. The Thieves Guild entrance. Okay, so apparently we know what it is. Good. So it is the Thieves Guild. Of course it was the Thieves Guild. What else did you think it was gonna be? Um, but uh, yeah, there's something else on this building over here. So let's go over there and find out. Hi, friend. No! Dang it! Why do you guys keep insisting that I know the password? I mean, I am getting into their business, but hmm. we'll we'll find out about them later. Don't worry, it's all good. So let's explore south here. Next up, we're gonna go to the north because that's where that's where I um, want to go first. There's also stuff over here that I don't think I've seen. 
Let me see, let me look. So we got Tavern and Inn, we got Lucky Elves, Discount, and Shop of Silence. I've gone over to the Tavern and Inn there, but I haven't gone to the Shop of Silence. Can I buy some silence? Let's see if it is indeed totally silent. Yes, it is. The game is totally silent right now. There's no sound coming from my computer, apart from, uh, well, there's absolutely no sound coming from my computer. But, uh, oh, silence is the name of the... I'll speak when I wills it, not because you're prodding. I'm not gonna prod you, miss. Um, let's uh, let's just prod these uh, these things and see if you don't mind me. Well, apparently she doesn't. It's good. It's good. Let's prod these things. Uh, get those. Sure. And uh, I mean, I don't need them, but okay, we're good. Let's see what we have. So that goes over yonder, and that goes over there. I want to take care of my arrows like so. Uh, she she's not wearing. Yeah, good. And uh, what else did you get? You got some of these. That's good. Put them over there, and I'll take. What is that? Potion of strength. It goes over there, of course. Okay, let's sell our crap. Let's How use that. Use markers for that. I think there's a passage. This, doesn't that look like a staircase or something over there? You see that? No, that's just the top of the of the shelves. Okay, yeah, I was looked something somehow differently. Hey, hello. Be ye friend or be ye dead. <laughs> Walk yourself slowly in and keep your arms at your sides. This is no inn, and you get no smiling welcome. I expect payment for your safekeeping, and you pay by the day and by the head. Hmm. The risk I take harboring you low-grade hooligans is simply not worth it. Five golds up from now, if you please. Sure. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. She... That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's see if I can sell the crap that I have around here. The scimitar. The scimitar. Oh, I can sell these as well. That's good, because I don't need them. And uh, everything else is going to stay where it is. Except for this stuff that I forgot before. So I need to right-click and open container. And then the green stone ring, I think I need one. The angel skin ring, I think I need one of them. And also these one. I never remember if I need one or two. These I don't need. I'm just going to press... I can't press enter for these. Whatever. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the biggest, improving, the biggest improvement you can do to any game UI just allow you to have shortcuts on the keyboard. Otherwise, it's, it's good. It's good. I mean, but just a single mouse to control all the game, that's not easy. So I would like to press enter here. I would like to have a, a key here that would tell all, or select all at least. But, yeah, this is an old game. It's understandable. Although, Pillars of Eternity... Pillars of Eternity doesn't have a select all button on the inventory, or in the inventory. So, yeah, even new games don't have that sort of stuff. So it's not an excuse, it's just, um, it's not a, being old is not an excuse for that. It's just short, or lack of foresight. Let's see what we have here, the Iron Thorn. Is that interesting? Uh, to that of a zombie, minus four charisma, and it is a, a curse. Okay, the Disciple Runner, oh, that's right, they have, uh, we have some interesting gems around here, interesting rings anyway. Mm-hmm, and almost at the end, oh, the Shanton gem, how expensive is that? Was that the, the nice one? Shanton is another name for nat natural light in the realms. I don't remember what the interesting one that we found, I, I might have already sold it already. Um, Fire Opal Ring, Rogue Stone, yeah, that's a nice one, 2,500. Diamonds, 500 each. A Stash Sapphire is 1,000 each. And the Pearl Necklace is five. Mm, these are expensive. I like those. Okay, 20,560 gold worth of gems. That's that's good. That's good. Let's see what it sell, what she sells. So she sells a sling plus one, some bullets that I will buy because I am going to end up having to use plenty of normal missiles. Let's go ahead and do that. Can I... Yeah, you should be able to carry all the rest. And I am going to also buy all of these. She has 20. Oh, buy all. Just buy all. Let's see. Can we... If... Oh. This is good. This is really good. We're going to be able to use no, uh, plus one, uh, plus two arrow... Uh, sorry, not arrows, but these forever. Forever. Oh, boy. That's really good. That's really good. Okay, so put that... Actually, I... Let's, let's see. Let's see. So she has that. Oh, that was precisely what she needed. Put that over there. And put that over there. So we're gonna keep the plus two ones over here. And I just bought the plus one, sorry. Plus ones over on her. Uh, and the normal ones are gonna go to the ground. I just bought them, but I don't need them. So it's all good. Oh man, it's so good having these. These are nice because they give you plus three damage. Man, that's a plus two tackle as well. That's really good. Okay, um, next up, I am gonna need her as well. 
Let's see, who has the, the crack? There we go. A lot of them. Oh, joy of joys. Joy of joys. Having all that ammo. Mm. I don't even know why I'm keeping the plus ones. I don't need the plus ones. I have so many. So many. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit lost with my numbers right now. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, so that's, uh, it goes for Minsk. Yeah, I don't need the plus ones. There's too, there's too many of, of the plus twos for the plus ones to be relevant at all. Oh, boy. Oh, lovely, lovely sight. She really sells a bunch of these. That's good. I don't think we have plus threes. If I remember correctly, they're yellow. The plus threes. I believe, but I don't think we have that in the game. So, yeah. Uh, next up, I'm going to buy a bunch of plus one arrows, probably, because I am not going to need the normal ones. And I'm going to keep... Um, the fire arrows are nice to have. I'm going to keep them around. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep the fire arrows around for right now. And Khalid needs a couple more. And there we go. Okay, so we are going to need to buy some uh, plus two arrows, please, would you? I've crossed this realm time and again, and I'm thoroughly convinced that many a fight could have been avoided if the combatants simply had a good night's sleep aforehand. Sanctuary be not so much for hiding as it is for resting nervous bones. Can you get nervous bones? That sounds painful. Uh, I actually didn't look too much at her um, inventory. She doesn't sell arrows, though, does she? No, she doesn't. Well, it's it's good that we found those, and she has more. Ho, 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 that's really nice. That is really nice. Okay, so she doesn't sell arrows, but we don't need them, uh, I don't think. Um, you're a queer fellow. Maybe we do. I'm kind of, maybe, maybe, maybe we do. Let's see, get those to Minsk. And those to Khalid, and they're gonna wear these weapons, of course. And I still need... Oh, yeah, we need to sleep as well, that's right. So I still need to do that. I'm gonna do something like this. Get that away, get those identifying things. What is it this time? Save the game, and let's rest here with silence. So, I oh, she only sells the crappy ones. For zero cost? Hmm. Huh. That's pretty cheap. Because I paid already. That's why. Okay, nice fireplace and all. Nice mug there. And uh, let's identify those things that we got. Spell of protection from undead. Target is immune to all physical attacks made by undead creatures. That is really nice. It doesn't mean that undead creatures will not attack it, but it's basically a turn undead, I think, or something to that extent. Um, what else? We have over here, protection scroll of stupidity. It protects you against smarts. The squirter staff is the ossifier. May only be removed by curse. Casts bark skin on target upon each successful hit. It is a... Bad. Bad thing. Ossifier. I don't even know what that means. I have no idea what it means, actually. It sounds like bone. Because I think it would... I, I think bone in Latin is somewhere. It's, it's in Portuguese also. Uh, but, yeah, whatever. Consumes 10 gold per successful hit. It's a nice one, the gold digger. <laughs> it does a lot of damage, plus 4. But apart from that, it's not really that great. <laughs> That's an interesting weapon, though. Interesting weapon design right there. Uh, I am gonna end up selling this, ain't I? Yeah, I have another one over there, and I never use the, the fear wand. Uh, and these are gonna stay here because they are good to go, and I'm gonna sell to her, uh, the stuff that I have. So the gold digger, a thousand, that's not bad. The ossifier is only five, sell that. Uh, do we have anything else around here that we might want to sell? No. Okay, perfect. That was a nice, a good night's sleep, and of course it's night time, so I might as well, uh, take care of my spells. Get those away and get my magic missiles. How do they work? So, use of the magic missile, one of the most popular first level spells. Yes, of course. Creates up to five missiles of magical energy that does one die four plus one points of damage. For every two wizard gain, uh, for every two extra levels of experience, the wizard gains an additional missile up to five. So, yeah, that is basically five die four plus five, which is a very, very nice amount of damage. It's not a fireball, but it's it, it's got no saving throw. Uh, and yeah, it is very powerful. Uh, four and five at ninth level, which I believe she is at nine. No, she is still level eight, but yeah, still four die five, which is nice. Um, oh, look how pretty it is in the night. I forgot to rest, to be honest, but let's 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 not forget. Let's do that. So that uh, rest should bring us up to. Oh, there's something on the floor there. Come on, rent, rest. Good. Okay, we're good. We're good to go. She has all her spells. Did I take care of her spells? I didn't. Did I? I did. Awesome. Okay. And you can hear the city outside already. Okay, let's continue exploring the first 
area of Baldur's Gate. Let's see, we have, there's horses somewhere around here, or was that Minsk? I heard some, pfft. it's got a name, I don't know the name of that thing, of that noise. Uh, do we can we go into this house? Apparently not, let me see, yeah, it doesn't seem like we can. Uh, so commoner, we have just a bunch of people lying around. Let's look at the map just to see, just to find the area. So that's the area. As you can see, there's a lot of, this city is huge, but there's a lot of, um, a lot of little districts. They're not really that little, that's the thing, that's why they're huge. Because there's a lot of them. I don't remember how many, but there's, there's quite a few. And this one is just commoners and, what is this? Elf song? Is this like a badass disco sort of tavern that we can lose ourselves in and spend the whole day in here? What you want? What's up? Who's talking? Hello? Thy decency is refreshing. So many we meet are lacking. Carturnus is saying something. Aye, you be fighters and mages and monster killers earlier, be ya? Uh, yeah, we may not all be fighters and we may not all be mages, but each of us has a monster's death throws to our name. Uh, why do you ask? They're all be lined with bandits of every ilk and description. But uh, the most fearsome be them monstrous hobgoblins. Do us all a favor and place a blade into their guts. Well, thank you. B B Brelvik. There's a guy named Brelvik over here. Let's go ahead and talk to this commoner. She seems lonely in yeah? here. Let me be! Well, okay. So she was... She might be lonely still, but... You want some whiskey? Welcome you are. At least still you can uh, pave your tap. Beware you... Well, the dark corners of the song. That's the elf song here. As the guard turned a blind eye to much what that happens here. Is there anything I can do for you? Are you really gonna warn me about being mugged in here? Let's see if you give me anything here. Old one eye beer. Can you give me any rumors? Do I need to pay the nice one? I'm just gonna get drunk if I keep doing this. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Hey, Bre Brevlik, Brevlik, what's up? Hello! Shh, shh, shh. Um, I mean, hello. <laughs> yeah. Might I have but a moment of your, uh, time? Oh, this is exciting, isn't it? Oh, wait, you wouldn't think so. Uh, you're probably used to it. Ah, yes, yes, well, um, you, uh, you, uh, uh how, how do I, uh, approach this? You want, uh, for hire? I mean, <laughs> I, I need a job done? Get my intent? Uh, uh, job done, strictly. Hush, hush, I, I believe you would say. Hmm... I... am I to understand that you intend me to do something I would not be proud of to speak of? Oh, and I want is the acquisition of an item currently in the possession of someone else. It's not as though it's stealing. Well, actually, it's a lot like stealing. Okay, it's stealing, but it's only the one item and I don't want anybody hurt. Hmm... Illegal, huh? What's in it for me to take such a risk? Oh, straight to the point and as, as serious as the subject demands. Straightly, you are the cream of the Lacerna's crop. For retrieving but one object, I will give you five, 500 gold, no killing, and only the one item is to be taken. Dashing banditry, just like in the Song of Bards. Hmm. Yeah, you can stop trying to sell me, I'm interested. Just tell me what the actual job is and why you are willing to take such a risk. Oh, it's a marvelous trinket, a wondrously curious little toy from distant lantern. What do they call it? Oh, yes, a, a telescope of all things. It's a misleading name for such an interesting crafted material artifact. A golden extra farseer would have suited its craftsmanship so much better. There is not another like it in this side of the trackless sea. Most gnomes have a fixation of sorts, but I don't share the love of gems that possesses my kin. I prefer the feel of metal, the intricacies of the mechanical. Not that I necessarily understand the function, but it's not right for such an item to be locked away regardless. I, it, was meant to be, it was meant to be used uh, and, and to be held by loving hands, and if those hands just happen to be mine, more the better. The, t the teller thingy is on display at the Hall of he Wonders, uh, and... Uh, were it in the possession of anyone else, it might be purchasable. No doubt you know that the Hall of Wonders is an extension of the High House, the, the Temple of Gond, being the god of artifice, see, or artifice, an invention his followers take to recover, revering mechanical devices and will not part with an original of uh, to at any price. It's not as though they make proper use of such things, keeping them behind locked doors, where loving hands cannot explore their subtleties. Oh, the telly, what's it, uh, was made to be used and not worship? Ah, uh, must be, must be my hands of someone who tr truly appreciates it. Not to be immodest, but that someone is me. I suppose I, I, I might buy a replica, but would you wish a copy of a diamond? It's just not the same. Hmm... 
That's certainly a difficult task that you've set before me, you windy little man, but, uh, let's see. Mmm... Yeah, I will accept the challenge. Oh, wonderful! Oh, this is so bad of me! Uh, um, well, I shall leave you to your uh, preparations. I will certainly... Uh, it will certainly be a test of your metal entering the hall. I imagine uh, an experienced roustabout such as yourself will case the joint thoroughly, huh? And get the guards scheduled down and all that. Oh, if you... Uh, if only I could be a part of it. It's thrilling like the songs of legend. I'll meet you back here once the burglar is announced. <laughs> it's too much fun. And off he goes. No, he actually doesn't off go. He just stays there, stays there right there. Okay, perfect. We got a quest from a gnome that wants us to steal a chalice, whatchamacallit. And uh, we, that, we shall do that. Because uh, we are neutral and not good. Nope. We are going to do such thing. I don't, I don't actually remember how that quest goes. I do think there's a counterpart to it on the side of the temple. But this time around, we're going to go for Brevik or Brevlik or whatever his name is. Oh, we've got a serving wench going around, and... Wench, give me some ale! Please, seat yourselves whatever you wish. Hmm. She has work to do. Apparently, serving customers is not part of her work. That's not really understandable, but... Whatever. Seat yourselves whatever you wish, she says. Hmm. Okay, let's see if I can... Uh, let's also be careful for uh, secret entrances and stuff like that. So let's save the game here. Let's see what we have over here. Nothing. Let's go back here, see if there's anything. Hello, cook! Is not the cook. Oh, the cook is that guy. Hey, man, what's up? Yes? Hey, you stays out of my kitchen. You'll mess up my art. Some days I guess gonna cook for you, the duke himself. Bet you there's less fist fights in the palace. So you can enjoy a meal from start to finish. Can you? Do you think so? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't remember. I haven't been in the palace, in the palace myself. I don't remember is not the word. I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe, maybe there's fist fights. Maybe when I go there... Fists fights are gonna erupt out of the ground like the eruptions. Hey, Sir Demac, you got a weird name. Have I met you before? Hello, pal. Can I help you, friend? If not, please do not hesitate to get out of my face. You have interrupted my fun. Well, I'm sorry to disturb you, friend. I'll just be on my way. I should say, pal, because that's what he tells me. With his mouth, not with his text. That thing is locked, and this thing is not. Nope, nobody minded me. That's good. Lady Alith Elendara. Why is Lady with inverted commas? Something you require? Good eve to you. I am Alith, the owner and proprietor. I trust the elf song will fit your needs, whatever they should be. I should be wary of the clientele if I were you. Everyone is quite on edge of late. Hmm, why such melancholy to be uh, be so pervasive here? Is there not an ill feeling throughout the coast? Well, we have lost more than the average citizen. We have lost the lady. Often we are blessed by a strange phantom voice. It is an elvish maiden lamenting a lost love drowned at sea. Her voice is quite beautiful, and the reason I purchased this establishment in the first place. She has not uttered a note for nigh unto several ten day. Surely it is a, a, nomen of, a nomen of sorts, though I cannot say of what. I would have thought the economic troubles of the land too paltry to affect the concerns of the dead, but matters are often more complicated than they seem. I suppose they are often simpler as well. Though the truth, that does not support my argument quite as well. Forget I mentioned it. Enjoy your stay. Oh, okay. Can I take from... Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to save the game. Can I take from your shelves? Nope, I cannot. Okay. Well, in that case, I shall take my leave and also end the episode because we are out of time. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Baldur's Gate. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.